Hi everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about metabolism. Now metabolism is something that I get a lot of questions about in practice, so I'm here to set the record straight. Your metabolism is controlled by your thyroid, in particular your thyroid hormone thyroxine. And it's made up of three major components. You have your basal metabolism, the thermic effect of food, and also physical activity. So the first one, basal metabolism, is what really is making up the majority of your daily energy burn. It accounts for things like breathing, or maintaining body temperature, or building new tissues and new muscle. So it accounts for a lot, and what that means is that you can really be burning energy even when you are just sitting on the couch or scrolling through your phone in the morning or at night when you're in bed, you're still burning energy that way. Now, basal metabolism is affected by a number of things that you can't control, like your age, for example. We know that basal metabolism will actually decrease about 5% per decade after you reach age 50. The good news is that in your teens, and your 20s, when you're growing and active, that basal metabolism is super high. Basal metabolism is also high during periods of growth, so childhood, adolescence, pregnancy, when the body is growing, um, basal metabolism is kicked up. And then also, the bigger, taller you are, the more energy you're going to need to carry out those body processes. So when you're taller, when you weigh more, you do have a higher basal metabolism as opposed to when people are shorter and thinner. Now the second part is that thermic effect of food. Now this is the slight rise, about 10% of that energy intake that we get whenever we eat. So that energy that's required to digest and absorb that food that we're consuming makes up that thermic effect of food. And the third part of metabolism is physical activity. So this is when you are brushing your teeth, when you are standing up, when you are walking, when you are running, when you are engaging in physical activity. This physical activity or just movement creates so much of your metabolism. Now, with that understanding, what can you do to raise your metabolism? Well, there's five main things that I wanna talk about today. So number one is to increase your lean body mass. We know that a body that has more muscle on it as opposed to fat mass will burn more energy throughout the day. So that means that if you have more muscle, even when you are resting, sleeping in bed at night, that muscle requires more energy to keep it thriving. So more muscle means uh, more metabolism, greater metabolic burn. We also know that after you engage in physical activity, your metabolism is elevated too. It's called the EPOC, or some otherwise known as afterburn. It's excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, which is really just this um, word for the rise in metabolism that we get in the hours following strenuous physical activity. Then there is things that can really hurt our metabolism. So low calorie diets or periods where you're fasting or in starvation, that can lower basal metabolism. So another one of my tips is to avoid those um, plans as this long term may actually hurt you instead of help you. So hit the weights, move more throughout your day, um, get that epoch, get that afterburn, avoid low calorie diets, and then number five are choose healthy, good foods for you. So we know that some foods like um, chili and um, MCT oil and even green tea might help boost metabolism a little bit. Now it's probably not gonna be that silver bullet to weight loss that you might be looking for, but they're certainly good nutrient dense foods to include more often. So go ahead and enjoy those too. Well, I hope this helped answer some of your questions and give you a little bit more of a download on what metabolism is. Of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments below or uh, message me on Facebook at Yes Nutrition LLC. I'm happy to help. Hey, did you like this video? If so, I'd really appreciate a share. Go ahead and share this with your family and friends so that we can better share good nutrition information to more people. Thanks so much.